My character is Barbara McCullum, and uh, Barbara runs the McCullum Real Estate Agency in a small town called Rosehaven. And Luke's character, Danielle, is my son. Looking forward to starting tomorrow. Got a few ideas here. You're just can... covering while I have the operation. Yeah, but I just want to... Your job is to answer the phone and make sure we don't have any ants in the kitchenette. Love it. And it's only like the last week or so I'm starting to do more with them. Uh, and I've never worked with anyone in, in this cast. And I've been watching Luke and Celia on telly for a while. I tuned into them both with Utopia. And I went, they're good, they're hot. They've come from the stand-up world and they're just uh, pretty active and intelligent and uh, fast, they're so fast. I, I tend to come from the old school of Aussie laconic humour, you know, I sit on the back foot. You can't with these two, they're just so fast. <laughs> and it's like, he stopped talking. I think it must be my turn. <laughs> I'm learning a lot from those two and I'm looking forward to doing um, the big scenes in another two weeks. We're doing all the office scenes. So uh, just to work with them in tandem is like, they're just so familiar with one another. Their language is a real shorthand, you know? It's great. I always like crews. That's, that's one of the reasons I love working in television. Um, I do a lot of theater now and you have a very minimal crew. But there's people on this crew that I worked with on different projects over the years. and. Um, Guy the first. I said to him, well, What's the first time we ever worked together? And he said, Fields of Fire, and that's 30 years ago. And he was a very young third on that, so. You're shitting me. I'll be right there. Sounds like 40 Catherine Street's got a dog again. When you're trying to develop a character, it's when you see all the other elements that other people have put into your story that you go, Right, is that the sort of house I live in? It's quite palatial. Double brick, lovely estate, beautiful autumn garden. It's a big, roomy house. I think it must get a bit lonely there on her own. It's nice to have a Daniel and Emma staying there. It starts to feel like um, a family home again.